But Telford today um, in the Wagyu conference, the atmosphere has been um, buzzing to be honest. Um, everybody's been talking about something that they're very passionate about and it's been a really good thing to be part of where you get people together and they don't feel isolated and they can talk about somebody with somebody else that's part of the Wagyu scheme to build the confidence, build pride in producing the U some of the UK's finest beef that people should be proud um, to produce. I'm one of the beef geneticists for Tina ABS. We're here today at the Warndale Wagyu conference and we've been talking about a lot of data. Today we've heard um, from speakers from Warrendale Wagyu, our business, but also from the British Wagyu Association, from customers such as Aldi who are buying a lot of British Wagyu, from Genus Genetics, so they're doing a lot of work in terms of improvement of the breed and, uh, and the genetic analysis work. We've also heard from uh, the Australians, so the CEO from the Australian Wagyu Association, probably the, the biggest exporters. Um, of Wagyu around the world as to what they're doing in their industry and what we can learn from them and actually how we can work together with the Australians for a greater good for the Wagyu brand. Uh, Matt McDonough, I'm CEO of the Australian Wagyu Association. So what we're doing here today is we're here for the Warrendale Wagyu, British Wagyu Association conference. Uh, we work very closely, we're a global industry in Wagyu. There are about genetics from 200 Wagyu animals exported from Japan in the 1990s and and really the Australian industry has amplified those genetics up significantly. The Warrendale Wagyu model, you can collaborate with lots of different people throughout the whole supply chain and you get lots of other ideas um, from meeting other people. So it's great that they put on today's events so you can meet lots of like-minded people who are passionately trying to make a difference to their business by working with the Wagyu brand. Warrendale guys are really the first a vertically integrated supply chain for Wagyu in the UK. Um, they're very interested in understanding you know, which are the right genetics to use and, and how to go about producing Wagyu. It's great to get farmers talking to farmers, to customers, um, to genetics companies and we're going to have a great dinner tonight and uh, we hope to get people, more and more people to these events in the future. today to uh, sort of learn more about Wagyu and it's been a wonderful afternoon with uh, a lot of really good information and um, I'd be really happy to uh, join the Warrendale rearing scheme from what I've seen so far. Having started growing fattening Wagyu cattle in recent years, I heard a lot of the theory about what it's all about but getting together with a bunch of other farmers so we can we can compare notes. We're here to instill confidence that Warrendale Wagyu will do exactly what it says on the tin. It's a fantastic um, offering to give people new starts into, into agriculture. Um, the temperament of the breed, um, the fixed pricing structure, they're all pluses um, to working with Wagyu. I think altogether we've had a great day having everybody here from the chain, from the dairy farmer all the way through to the processor.